G'day, welcome back. So, as you know, we love rust around here. We've got our 1979 Holden Ute. We've got our 1958 Morris Minor. We've got our 1952 Ferguson T20 tractor. All of which, I've seen a bit of rust in their time. So, the guys at Super Cheap Auto sent on over this 100 litre sandblasting cabinet. We're gonna go over the features, give it a test, and see if it's any good. Right, so here it is. This is our Super Jeep Auto 100 litre sandblasting cabinet. As the name suggests, 100 litre volume there, so you get reasonably sized pieces in there, all self-contained. Uh, we're gonna hook it, hook it up to the air, put some blasting media in, give it a test. So of course we need something to test it on, and thanks to the Acme Corporation we've got one of these. A Roadrunner Special Anvil. As you can see it's pretty pretty rusty, uh, we'll see how it's going to clean up, uh, see what kind of a job this does. Super cheap, do a range of different sandblasting media. On the left here we've got the garnet bead, which is kind of sandy kind of stuff. Uh, this is a all-purpose media, hard material, medium to high abrasive properties, low dust. There we go. On the right here we've got the uh, glass bead, which is a good all-round blasting and cleaning media. It leaves a clean, fine, satin finish on most metal surfaces. Widely used in blasting cabinets with no dust and great recyclability. So this is the one we're going to pop in the, the cabinet. Um, so yeah, let's pop it in there. Right, it says put approximately 10 litres of media into the cabinet. 10 kilos, probably around 10 litres. Let's move the gun out of the way. There we go, hopper's nice and full of glass beads. And let's get to the blasting. Right, so we're just giving that a quick clean up. Certainly it takes all the, the loose stuff, the surface stuff off, no problem. Uh, the glass beads probably weren't the best choice of media for this, probably needed something a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but certainly, um, certainly takes the, the junk off.
Right, so that was the glass bead. Quite a fine abrasive, so we're going to try the garnet, see, see how that takes material off. So there you have it, that was our Tool Pro 100 litre sandblasting cabinet. It works really well, got a nice big viewing area, got the fluorescent light, integrated gloves, decent feel to the blasting gun itself, nice big volume, and yeah, did a good job. So here's the anvil we, we put in there, it's pretty crusty to begin with. I started off with it, the glass bead media, uh, that's a fairly light media it turns out, uh, it was going to take forever to get, get this done. Swap into the garnet, sped this up a, a whole lot. So be careful with what media you choose and what, what projects you're trying to, what pieces you're trying to blast. Uh, for me, a really old rusty anvil, garnet was the one to go for. Uh, the the glass, glass beads, certainly they make less dust. Um, they take off much kind of lighter contamination, rust, corrosion, paint. Uh, so yeah, be careful what media you choose, use the right media for the job. Um, in terms of the tool itself, works really well, very happy with that. It's going to come in really handy for our Morris Minor, Holden U, Ferguson T20, all the other projects we've got coming along. So um, if you're not subscribed, press the button, ring the bell, you'll see when we put this to action. Uh, you'll see the results on all of the project cars and um, we'll see you at the next one. Cheers!